Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the hexose monophosphate shunt. Hexose monophosphate shunt is also known as pentose phosphate pathway. And it is very essential for the production of NADPH. So here we can say that enzymes for this reaction enzymes or HMP are present in cytosome and this step is necessary for the production of responsible for the production of NADPH and this NADPH is utilized by the cell for the production of uh, the fiber by the synthesis of for the synthesis of nucleic acids nucleic acid nucleotides fatty acids steroids UTC and this is mainly occur in liver adipose tissues or adipocytes and lactating memory glands lactating memory glands Testis RBC cells RBC cells so these are the very active cells which perform um, hexose monophosphate shunt very actively so the hexose monophosphate shunt has two steps or two phases one phase that is oxidative phase and the second phase that is non-oxidative phase and this a video we will discuss only about the oxidative phase oxidative phase of exhaust monophosphate shunt so in this oxidative phase the glucose 6-phosphate which is the intermediate or the initial product initial uh, molecule of the glycolysis so glucose 6 phosphate convert into 6 phospho glucomol acetone and this 6 phosphogluconol acetone is further converted into 6 phosphogluconate and which finally convert into 5 ribulose 5 phosphate ribulose 5 phosphate certain type of enzymes are used for this conversion of this, these molecules so we will discuss also about the enzymes using in each step the first enzyme using for the conversion of glucose 6-phosphate into 6-phosphogluconol acetone is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase and the second enzyme that is 6 phosphogluconol acetone dehydrogenase and here phosphogluconate dehydrogenase so in this step 6 molecule of glucose 6 phosphate is converted into 6 molecule of 6 phosphogluconol acetone which convert into 6 phosphogluconate and convert 
into six molecule of ribulose five phosphate. These are three molecules or six six carbon compounds and this is five carbon compound. So here carbon dioxide is removed. We will discuss later. So here six molecule of NAD positive is converted into is converting into six molecule of NADPH plus six molecule of hydrogen and here six water molecules are using here in this step and six phosphogluconate convert into six molecule of ribulose 5 phosphate by the removal of six carbon dioxide and here again six molecules of NAD convert into six molecule of NADPH plus six molecule of hydrogen so we can say that here six six and six twelve molecules of NADPH are producing and six molecules of carbon dioxide are producing in the last step and six molecules of water molecules are utilizing in this step so we can say that here this step is very very essential for the production of NADPH which is used further by different type of cells to perform different type of functions here again 12 hydrogen ions are producing so this is all about the oxidative phase of exhaust monophosphate